Welcome to Real Estate Uncensored, the place for actionable ideas to reach people online, build your personal brand, and get more clients. That is Greg McDaniel, the Junior Grand Master of Sales in the co-pilot seat. And that is Matt Johnson, agency owner, author, microfamous, and certified Greg Wrangler. Each week, you're going to hear from some of the best coaches, leaders, brokers, top producing agents, and social media experts, all with one goal, give you the sales and marketing tactics to up your game today. Okay. Now let's jump back into the latest episode of Real Estate Uncensored. Hey guys, welcome back to another amazing show. This is Real Estate Uncensored. We are going to be here to bring all the questions you ever need to be answering on social media. I have an incredible, incredible guest. He goes by the caption of Captain Link Juice, and he will explain that to you in a minute. And I always get a kick out of that. His actual real name is Brian. We're going to bring Brian in, aka Captain Link Juice, here in a second. Uh, but I, I'm looking forward to this conversation. I literally have been laughing. My cheeks have been hurting off air as we've been talking about a myriad of different, uh, t- you know, topics. Um, but number one, the most important thing on God's green earth is to allow Mr. Gene Volpe, the evil bald ninja, into the room. What up, homie? What up, Playboy? You, what you should have said was the number. You could have stopped there. The number one most important thing on the earth is Gene Volpe. That's I, I could have, but then I would have been lying. Um, <laughs> but I want to bring in our, our our featured guest, Brian, aka Captain Link Juice. We're going to be talking about incredibly awesome things to do when it comes to mortgages, marketing, Amazing. social media. How why Captain Link Juice is so powerful, where it came from, and everything else. So, Brian, tell us where you are, what you're doing, how you became you know partners with Gene on another, another podcast, and just give us an idea of who you are, brother. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will do that. So, the Captain Link Juice. So, it's kind of. Um... It's a social media term where that came into place. So I started a company back in 2006 called Credit Mindset, where I helped credit challenge buyers fix their credit, get themselves in a position to secure financing. Mm -hmm. About five years ago, I made this decision that I was going to push really hard in social media. For a decade, I didn't even mess around with it. I had a lot of relationships with loan officers. They give me their credit challenge clients. I turn them around, turn them into deals. So when I made this push into social media, I started realizing, hey, very small portion of my sphere needs credit repair, but a lot of them need mortgages. A lot of them need uh, real estate needs, buy, sell, invest. So I just started educating my entire network on all things real estate. I didn't just focus on credit. I talked about everything. And then weird things started happening, right? Everyone just started coming to me for any question they had as it pertained to anything real estate related. So we're in Philly area, so I call myself kind of the Ben Simmons of real estate, where you come to me and then I kind of figure out where to where to put you in order to put you in the best position to reach your goals, whether that's a loan with a real estate team. And when I started this, um, I handed out probably easily over three million back to back years of real estate, just handed it out to realtors. I was more worried about figuring out how to monetize it on the mortgage side of things, like joining with a team and plugging into somebody and really helping them grow, leveraging the social media, you know, strategy that I had that I was doing for myself. And, um, you know, fast forward now, you know, I'm a business development manager with Annie Mac Home Mortgage. I'm with the community mortgage team. We have 20 LOs, a $400 million team. Um, and my number one job is to help realtors grow their business by leveraging video and social media so that we can grow together. Uh, we still have credit mindset. It still supports the division. I'm also a licensed realtor. I'll do six to eight million a year, kind of, you know, I uh, like real estate investing too. A uh, fun fact, I bought a house today on my lunch break in, uh, <laughs> I'm, in Or- I'm in Orlando. Uh, I drove over to the Wells Fargo, shot the wire over, and my flip team's gonna be working on it. You know, all things real estate, I'm involved in. A lot of my team is. They all play in the space. I know how to attract people into our world. And the Link Juice, uh, Captain Link Juice, is is my whole MO is I help other people. The more you can help other businesses, the more you can help other people, the more you're going to attract into your world. So uh, you'll hear me talk about deposits and withdrawals. So you can't ask for anything until you've made a deposit in somebody's business. So all these all mortgage companies are out there talking about, Hey, I can close quick. I got good rates. It's like, that is literally the minimal expectation for a mortgage. Uh, our team actually partners up with you and helps you grow your space, dominate your local community. And we grow together. 
So Okay, perfect. I love that. Gene, I really wish you would hang out with someone who's more ambitious because obviously Captain Link Juice is just doing nothing in life. My goodness gracious. Dude's always on the move. I think we should definitely talk about real quick why he's in the FLA. Um, he's He started to tell us backstage and I said, hold on, don't do that. Do it on air. Do it on air. Because I mm. felt like, Greg, I think you'll get well, this will excite you a little bit, I think. And I and I definitely feel like, <laughs> no, it will. It, it, it will. definitely will. Uh, why okay, don't let's you, go. So, so let's go back. So we probably should show pictures of the RV. We should talk a little bit about some of what, what we're doing together with the, with the team to move up the ranks nationally. But one of the, so one of the things that, that the captain did is he went out and bought himself a personal 32 foot RV. And so he's actually currently on day, what are you about day seven today, right? You left last Friday. It's today. I left on the day Friday. Yeah, day seven. Yep. Yeah. So he's day seven of like a 28 day world tour. He's he came from PA. He headed down to Florida. But the, one of the big reasons why he decided to go to Florida was because of what he's doing tomorrow. And so get into that real quick. Yeah. So, um, well, I'm going to, I'm going to bring it, I'm going to reel it all the way back to how I even met this team. Right. So at 6 AM in the morning, I'm watching my phone and there's this dude, Sean, who works out every morning. He's got this online, like coaching thing where you work out together over and over months. I just see this guy and I'm like, he's annoying me. I, I love Sean, but he was annoying me because I'm like, he's exposing the fact that I'm not working out. So finally I join <laughs> in. So Sean's brother is Bob Abrams who might be watching this and Bob, is an exp agent down in florida and he's like hey i want to have you on this call i want to introduce you to my team so first zoom call i get on they bring me on as you know the captain link juice and, and i i'm speaking and i'm thinking all right zoom call a couple people show up um 108 agents on the call 108 agents show up and then the next time i i go on again 98 agents on the call. I'm like, what is going on down here? The culture they have is amazing. And then I brought Gene on, 100 agents on the call. It's like every day they can get 100 agents on nonstop. So there's a group down here. George Fellback runs it. Um, and then there's two kind of verticals, the guys out in Boca Raton, Fred DeFalco and Tony DeFalco. And then uh, Fred's group out in Orlando. They're having their, I think there's 300 or no, like 500 total agents in their downline. And they're having an event here in Orlando. Um, and I am the guest speaker kicking off tomorrow at 930. I'll be speaking. There's about 200 agents here in Orlando physically at the event. And uh, that's where we're here now. And we will be. Um, what up, Chris? Um, we will be. I'll be speaking to them tomorrow morning at 930, talking about um, some of the stuff we'll, we'll be getting into today a little bit. So that's um, awesome. Well, you, so, I, you missed the he missed the biggest part, I think. You, oh. Did you hear did you hear what group it is with? 500 yeah. EXP agents. Yeah. Oh, well, you never you didn't say EXP. You didn't say EXP. You said 500 agents. Oh, I thought I said EXP to kick it off. I thought that would get your. I think he did, but I, I think, think we'll go to the tape later. But I'm pretty okay. sure that, that, that was kind of like the, the punch. This is. It was. This is nine minutes in, and so I'm going to come back and I'm going to bitch slap both of you when I when when he didn't say that. So I, I think he did. I think, but we'll okay. see. Okay, you can okay. just put the apology okay. in the comments below. When you know, <laughs> uh, but either way, we'll either take our medicine or we'll receive yours. Oh my God, so many things to unpack there. So help me understand how you get how how do you mean? Maybe I missed this because uh, when you didn't say EXP, I didn't hear. How you uh, how you got involved with these guys? And I mean, are, is this a traveling thing? Like, so you're going to go from Florida to Arkansas to Nevada to California? So this this team's mostly in Florida. I, I mean, there are some guys that are that are throughout, but the bulk of the agents are in Florida. My main focus right now is the Boca Raton Fred DeFalco's team. He's got about 220 agents out of that office, uh, and Annie Mac and our mortgage team are going to Boca. I mean, we're already, we're already there. So um, I'll speak on Saturday. On Sunday, we'll take the RV. I have two team members flew down here to Orlando with me, Jessica and, and, and Jesse. They'll go in the RV with me on Sunday to Boca. And then we have meetings lined up all week with different, some of the top agents. Um, we're going to be meeting with them and talking about how we can help them dig deeper and grow their business um, and how we can help support them do that. Uh, leveraging our social media and video team. Uh, the girls flew down a couple weeks ago and we shot a bunch of videos in the Boca Raton area. Mm -hmm. And then we'll fly them back down in April 
um, this trip is more business development, asking the realtors what they need, how can we help them, what did, what kind of support do they need, and then we'll bring the team back down and 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 do it and execute. So, so many questions I have here. So <clears throat> you have, you had your girls, your 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 A team go down there and shoot B roll, which is you know just yep. behind the scenes role, guys. That's the stuff that you see on videos. It's all standard stock stuff. Uh, make sure you can get permission and you're not violating violating any you know laws or statutes in different communities when you shoot b-roll uh but b, so you went down and you shot your b-roll and then when it comes to your video and stuff like that are you are you a full editing team so you're doing the loans but yet for the real estate agents you're gonna then be like, okay gene volpe you know top real estate agent with abc group and xyz city in florida we're going to take you at XYZ cost, maybe a zero cost, depending on kind of how you negotiate that. I don't know the ins and outs of that yet, but you're going to take the B-roll that your girls shot. You're going to have your, your production team go and then, you know, put that into a video, put video, put audio behind it, then get them on camera, edit the video. And then how does it look? Gene, are you producing and pushing out the, on the social side or Captain Link Juice, are you pushing it out on the social? How's that look? And just a strategic launch, you know, platform. I mean, it's a pretty, it depends on the agent, right? So if the agent is savvy enough where they're running all their social media and they have their finger on the pulse of it, then right. we're giving them the video. They're dropping it everywhere they need to drop and they're pushing it. If they're like most realtors, they're like, I know I should be in this space, but I'm not really doing what I should be doing. That's where we'll tap Gene in. We'll partner up and basically think of my division as content creation and Gene's division as content distribution. So right. their agent can keep doing what they're doing, but they have this whole machine behind them, helping them create content, push it, create engagement, create more um, op, you know, opportunities, more conversations. So from the mortgage side, we don't charge the realtors anything. So the realtors, it's, it's we're partners. So we're partnering up. And on a very, if I break it all the way down to like what I'm doing, I'm basically saying, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Realtor, I'm going to use your license and go create me more mortgage business. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. You cool if I do that? And they go, hell yeah. And then my other loan officer doesn't do that. And I go, I know they don't. No one does it. So we're going to do it with you. And then we go create more buyers for them. And in return, all we ask is to shop the prequel those buyers we help create with you. And we keep the machine rolling. Gene, so, I, yeah. Gene, Gene, I got a real fucking bone to pick with you right I now. I know you do. Wait, I know. Well, listen, <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, I know you do. And Harry, I knew this was coming. Well, no, I, th I think this is okay. And, and you, listen, you, you'll you know this. I had this conversation with you about two months ago. Same with our good friend, Jake Wolf, who I'm, who I'm having a conference call with next week about this. Because in, in these cases, well, at least in the, in the in the Clever Lead side of it, I wasn't exactly sure how to put my finger on it, right? But with you, this is where we're going with it. When, like, I would say this to you, Greg, if we're able to generate a $2.4 million buyer lead for you, would you be willing to run the mortgage through our team? Absolutely. Hard stop. Yes. So, so that's kind of what we're doing. And I, I'll explain to you off air why we haven't gotten to that point yet, because Brian mm -hmm. and I are built. No, no, no. We're building stuff in the back end yet. That's not quite done. So mm -hmm. why? Listen, let, it's Greg, so close. It's wait, so let's get him the commitment. Let's get the commitment from him right now on air. Are you going to start sending us your business, Greg McDaniel? If you guys send me leads that are pre-qualified and are hundred percent ready to go, I have absolutely no reason not to send you guys the business. Now, here's the here's here's what I'm going to predicate with this: as long as you can close and you don't mess up the deals, because a lot of lenders suck. And I'm not saying you guys no, suck. Let, let let the captain speak to that. Yeah, let's 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 talk about that because there's a lot of people just, that can, just, that can, can I don't say that. Even speak to it. Just read Chris Stager's post down below. Chris is one of our our. I mean, he's a big fan of your show. He's been watching you guys. He's for awesome. A long time. So Chris, we run um, uh, his Facebook pages for him. We do all his videos. He, I mean, I I I I don't even have to. I mean, mortgages are that's what we do. But helping realtors grow their businesses is what I do and what Gene does. So I, look, yes. I do five to six, whatever, five to eight million matter of factly real estate business, right? So the way I look at it, I can find you five to eight million easy sure. just by you doing what I'm doing that you're not doing already. I'll just show you how to do it. And then I'll take it a step further and go, you're probably not going to do it left to your own devices because- what camera do I buy? How do I shoot the videos? How do I edit the video? That stuff all becomes heavy to a realtor. And you'll tell me, right. you'll hear me talk about light versus heavy a lot. So if it's light, it's right. If it's heavy, don't do it. Right. But 
in this case, we make that light. So we know the net benefit is like you do what you're good at. We'll do what we're good at. And together we'll be able to grow and get more business. If you think of it like um, like your rock star moment, right? I talk about this all the time. I challenge realtors all the time, loan officers, whoever. Figure out where your rock star moment is. So when, I, when Eddie Vedder walks on the stage, he doesn't mic check. He doesn't set up the drum kit. He's not even driving the van in. He's not doing any of that stuff. He walks out on stage. He grabs the mic. He does some Eddie Vedder shit, puts the mic down, and walks off stage, right? So if you are a realtor, you got to figure out where your Eddie Vedder you know, rock star moment is. Don't be setting up the drum kit. If you don't have a transaction coordinator, freaking get one. Yeah, that's not the best use of your time. Because you need to be prospecting or figuring out where is my best use of my time. A lot of times, loan officers, it's going out and talking to realtors. A lot of times, realtors, it's going out and networking. Well, if you're caught up in the shit and the minutia and you're not out prospecting, guess what your business does? It looks like a freaking heart rate monitor. And I know that because I've seen it all. I've seen them all for 16 years, just boom, boom, boom. And there's no consistency. So I said, I'm going to create the consistency. I hate marketing companies, so I created one. And then I give it away for free. I said, I'm going to help you grow. All we ask is you just, as I'm growing your business for you, just give us the opportunity to prequal the mortgages and we'll keep this thing rolling. Dude, so, I, I couldn't agree with you more in regards to what you're just talking about, about the heart rate monitor. Like when you're looking at your heart, it's up and down, 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 right? And a lot of agents, I mean, my team manager, I have not written a contract in almost 15 years uh, because my team manager runs my entire transactions. My job is to go out and get business. Like as soon as we get done with this con with this, with this podcast, I'm going out to a property that was a referral to me for 85 acres. Uh, all I have to do is walk on the property, not kick them in the shins and call their mama fat. And the deal is pretty much going to be inked and signed. Right. And so that's that, like you were saying, when you said, you know, what was your word, uh, your rock star moment? Rock star is you to, when you define that for yourself, yeah. like, Obviously, you know, Brian, you're very good at talking. You're very knowledgeable at mortgages. You're very good at marketing. You teamed up with the Evil Bulb Ninja, so you have the back end to really do the distribution. Oh, you're he's like got a, the back end, all right. Ah, uh, okay. Man, we went there. Uh, <laughs> that's why he's called Captain Lynch's. No, hey, uh, that's the but, front end. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. You two idiots. Sorry, mom. <laughs> No, but the, the rock star moment, I think, is really important to really recognize because that, that's your superpower. That's that's what you're really good at. Like me and me and contracts and doing back end work and going through the database that literally puts me to sleep. Like I can't do it. Eileen, my team manager, the you, you know, the, the you know, I call her the um, what do I call her? I fucking call her something. I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. But uh, uh, she doesn't forget a damn thing and she will be able to do everything. She communicates with everybody. I don't have to deal with any of the minutia back end bullshit because my job. Go get the business, shoot the videos, get teams like you guys to edit them, you know, create content, be visible, make the relationship and the story, and I'm out. Cool. And Greg, here's the secret sauce to that, right? I, Eileen, trap. did you say her name was? Eileen? Yeah, Eileen, a.k.a. the Steel Trap. Yes. Steel Trap. Right, so the Steel Trap couldn't do the front end stuff you're doing. No. That's as heavy to her. If you said, Eileen, go, go get us new business, she would probably be like, ah, that's heavy to me. I don't know how the hell to do that. But get me it, and I'll I'll get you to the finish line. And you're going great. I don't want to do the paperwork to get to the finish line. I'll go get the deals, and that's what I try to get realtors to understand. Get from get yourself in a position to, um, you know, your rock star moment, and then slowly put the pieces in place behind you in order to get the people that you need in order to, I always tell someone, whatever's heavy to you, it's light to somebody else. So find the person that it's light for them and put them in place. And then you continue to, then you make this really good freaking concert for people to come and enjoy. And you just go out and do your thing and all the other pieces are in place. And the they, good news is in real estate, it's probably three or four pieces, not, you know, as much as it takes to put on a concert. So, you know, the funny thing is Brian, is that People ask me literally on a daily basis, Greg, how do you do everything that you do? The podcasting, the, you know, the real estate, you know, the, the whole nine yards. And I say, it's very, very simple. I have teams that do things I don't like to do that they love to do. And that is as easy as it is. Like if I was going to, yeah. like, so I, I hit up Gene the other day and we just got off of, a, off of a podcast and it was cracking me up because I kind of got a little butthurt <laughs> when he was talking about doing editing and social media posting uh, for, for different clients. And I kind of just had a moment with them. I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? Why aren't you posting for me on social media? 
And he's like, he's like, dumbass, I have been posting for you for the last three years. I'm like, oh, that's where those are coming from. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. I forgot um, he was doing that. Yeah, but no, so I have like Jake Wolf. So it means like taking your your guys's so the, the agent will do the content, the raw content. They bring it over to your guys' uh, editing team. You guys edit it. No, then my girls, take... the girls will shoot it too. Oh, they'll shoot it. Okay, well, shit, man. Okay, they'll shoot it and they'll edit it. Yep. Then they take that content. They flip it over to Jake Wolf over at Clever, puts it into a campaign to push it out. Gene then takes it and distributes it uh, out into the social media. And then all the then if they want to have VAs, the VAs will come in on the back end. And they'll just set the appointments and be the and basically the, the phone call answers. And all the agent has to do is literally show up at the appointment. That, that's it. I mean, we have scripts written, too. I mean, we have a whole a la carte of different videos. I mean, we're constantly have a content calendar. There's tons of stuff that in my head's constantly in that space. And I test it in my market right now. I, I promise you right now, if, if any realtors watching right now and, and tag me in your post, if you do it, follow me on, you know, go to Brian Offner on um, Facebook and we can do uh, just, if you posted for CMAs, just say, Hey, if you're interested to know what your house is worth in this market, Hit me up, hint, hint. It's not what Zillow says. And I think I did 38 the other day. I did 38 CMAs uh, off of that Ooh. post alone. So, Ooh. I mean, there's constantly things. And Gene, are we going to talk about Community Connect at all or no? I just yeah. Up, but we could. Yeah. So, yes. yeah, Gene and I do a, um, we do this thing on Mondays where we just help agents come up with content. So at noon, we do an, you know, a podcast where we're, well, is, is it noon Eastern or noon Pacific or noon, noon Eastern, Central? Sorry. Noon, noon Eastern. Eastern. Noon okay. Eastern. If you go to Community Connect on Facebook, it's. And I'll, I'm going to put, I'll put a link in, Brian. Yeah. And that way, like each week, look, I know agents, I know the mentality. You get caught up in the minutia and you're like, oh shit, I forgot to prospect. There's three things I focus on and I teach people all the time. Prospect, work leads, close deals. If you're an entrepreneur, they're the only yep. three behaviors you ever should be doing. So if you're not working a lead or going to a listing or appointment, or you're not at a closing, there's only one other behavior you should be doing, which is prospecting. So yep. we all run into these blocks. I create content boards for myself. So if I go, hey, I know I time block from one to two to shoot a video and I'm going, what the hell am I going to like? I'll look at my content board, see what jumps out at me. Boom, I'm doing it on what happens if a house comes under appraisal and you got to renegotiate the deal, right? Or whatever. You know, you just have a content board that allows you to. Just keep pumping content. So think of it like the gym, right? You can't go to the gym half ass like once or twice a week and expect to get results. You got to be a three to four times a week in order to get results at the gym. So if you kind of have this half ass approach to social media, you're going to be like, oh, it doesn't work. I don't get any business. It's like, yeah, because you suck at it. Like, go more, go more, go more until it becomes who you are and what you do. And then that's where the shift happens. That's where you go from. I mean, I, we see it all the time. That's where you see fifteen million dollar producers become thirty million dollar producers, or or whatever. You know, is is by being consistent, and that's where I think Greg, you're really good at right now. And it's so hard for maybe to someone to visualize to get where you're at, but it takes so much repetitive consistency, consistency in order to see the results. Uh, you know, we talk about Rogan's podcast all the time. It, you know, his first hundred probably sucked ass, but oh yeah. You know, it takes time. It takes time. I actually saw a po photo of myself with a, a there's a girlfriend like 10 plus years ago, right? She and I were on, on my boat and uh, she took a picture of me and I was on the phone. And I remember looking back at the picture of myself and I was like this pasty, pudgy fuck. And I'm like, oh my God, how did she like that? Uh -huh. And so when she and I broke up, I made a commitment to myself. And it was, it was just purely because of something I wanted to prove to myself. I said, you know what? That is not who I'm going to be as a human being. And so I started, I, I went and printed out, uh, I think it was a two month workout calendar. I went into the gym five days a week. I was in the gym at four o'clock in the morning. I didn't skip a beat. And my one reason was this, and this is, and it comes back to what, your big why, right? My big why I'm, in that event was that when I see her in a bar, I want her to her mouth to drop open and just be like, oh damn, I screwed up, right? And lo, lo and behold, guys, the, the hard work worked out and it actually happened. And the funny thing is that she walked past me and she just kind of like put her head down in shame and just kept moving. I bought a round for all my friends of shots. I'm like, guys, that was fucking awesome. You know, and this is something that I achieved. 
And about three years ago, I was at a, uh, a beer event with my now current girlfriend. And all of a sudden, this chick walks up to me and goes, oh, my God, Greg. And I'm like, she sounds hideous. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, she's like, hugs. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? Like, I literally don't know who you are. Like, what is going on at this moment? And all of a sudden, she said some stuff. And I re recognized who she was. And I'm like, oh, my God. And here's the point of the story. Her. Like, like, what happened? Yeah, but and the thing is, is that like your whys are always going to be shifting, kind of talking about what you're talking about um, and always be on the pivot and be ready to to move. Because a lot of us, when it comes to lead gen, if we're scared of doing video, if we're scared, scared of doing social media, if we're scared of picking up the phone or anything like that, when you have a strong enough why, that shit is going to shift so fast on you that it's going to make your head spin. Because at the end of the day, you're going to, it just comes down to you. I mean, what's the best thing for you? Do you want to do video? Do you not? Do you want to have someone like like Brian and, 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 and Gene to do all these incredible videos for you? And all you have to do is show your scared ass up in front of the camera and just shoot a couple of videos and let them handle all the back end. It, 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 if you have a daughter, a, a, a son, if you have a wife, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, significant other, husband, you know, father, mother, whatever it is that needs something that you can provide to them, all you have to do is show up in front of the camera. They'll do everything else. Why in the God's green earth would you not do this? Seriously, I, it really doesn't fucking, it really blows my mind why people won't do this stuff. And I mean, if they don't want to do videos right off the bat, let me get you guys' opinion on, on Clubhouse really quickly. What's your thoughts on this? Because it's an audio only app. It's only on Apple, but it allows people to jump into being visible without being visible. So give me your thoughts on this, Brian. Well, I'm going to talk to video first and then I'll sure. parlay into that because if you are scared to get on video, I promise you everyone already knows what you look like and they already know what you sound like. So it's yep. your own stupid head trash getting in the way. It's like, just put yourself out there and I promise you'll get comfortable. Now clubhouse could be a catalyst to help you get comfortable talking and get some reps in and jump on stage and listen to some people. Um, I would definitely recommend getting in there and, and, you know, content is key. I mean, content, motivation, any way you can get, find something um, different and uh, that leads to action, that's the name of the game. So it doesn't matter where that spark comes from. You just got to put yourself out there and, you know, it could come from a picture you saw of yourself on a boat or it could come from a, you know, a, a chat room where you're kind of just a fly on the wall listening and all of a sudden, boom, you're sparked and motivated to take action. So I don't think there's any downside unless you're just there to observe, but I'm an action guy. Like I, I don't even, unless I'm going to take action on something, I don't waste anybody else's time. So that would be my goal is to just figure out a way to take action, whether that's just getting on clubhouse and showing up. Like that's the first step. I so like it though. Content. I know we're going to get, we're going to, you know, talk about a few other things, but here content, I know you guys do your show at 12 uh, noon uh, Eastern time. Yeah. Um, what is one of the things that you have been, you know, that you guys have found that has been in one of your past shows? So people always, always go back and take a look and we'll, we'll, we'll put links in this uh, for that. But I mean, where's a place where people can really find some good content to start, start shooting videos? I mean, I have two of mine. I would love to hear where you guys are getting your ideas. Yeah, I mean, here's my whole philosophy, right? And, and I say this to every realtor, is I promise you that no one gives a shit you're a realtor. Nobody cares <laughs> you're a realtor until they need a realtor. Just start there with this concept of like, no one cares you just had a closing. No one cares you're at the closing table selfie. Like, stop the damn closing table selfie. Like, nothing says me, 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 like a closing table selfie. Like, I get it. I'd rather you get the clients to do a testimonial and use the testimonial to let someone else say how awesome you are instead of trying to figure out how to tell people I do real estate. So here's the other assumption. The minute you get your real estate license and you say I'm a realtor, most of your friends assume that you know how to do real estate. So you don't have to talk about it all the time. So mm -hmm. Gene and I have I've come to the terms with the five, one rule, maybe 10, one rule. I started at three, one, but make it five personal to every one business that you drop. And when you drop something business or educational, make it educational if it's going to be real estate. Related. Like I said earlier about the CMAs, hey, educate them. Don't make it about you. Make it about their house and what they can do. Stop saying in search of inventory. I have all these buyers that want to buy a house. Sell your house now. Like Nothing says me, me, me like that post. Hey, give people information. 
you know, see if you can help them with what their home value is worth. Don't make it about yourself. That's just my personal preference when we're posting stuff online about that. But I want to know who you are as an individual. I don't give a shit. You're a realtor. I could care less. That's a role. That's one of your roles you do. I have this IR theory. I is who we are as individual. Are these roles we wear throughout the day? I'm a father. I'm a brother. I'm a son. I'm a realtor. I'm a business development manager. I do investment. You go on my page, you'll see all of that. You won't just get one role that I'm trying to throw down your face. I'm the role of a realtor. Like no one's going to relate to that. No one's going to care. They're going to unfollow you. And the only people liking your shit will be other realtors, which Mm -hmm. is completely missing the mark. If all your posts are only liked by other realtors, you might as well not even post it because you're not getting business from them. So I challenge people to completely flip it and get themselves focused on, hey, this is my wife. These are my kids. We went out to dinner. We love this area. Hey, what's your house worth? You know, you want to know what your house is worth? I can help you. I just bought this house. You want to know how to flip? Hit me up. My inbox is constantly. I pull more deals from Messenger. If you're not getting deals from Messenger like a maniac, you are not like, I don't know what you're doing. I just got one today from Kelsey. You know, hey, I just bought land in Georgia. Can you help us with a construction loan? Yes. <laughs> so you just want to put it out there where you're constantly just educating your network so they know they need to reach out to you anytime they're going to make any type of financial decision. Have them reach out to you. And you know you're hitting when they reach out to you for insurance, when they reach out to you for stuff that you don't even do. Like That's when you know your message is, is a good okay. message. Gene, I want you to jump in, but I gotta, I gotta say something really quick. I got two points to make, and then Gene, I want you to, you know, have have a bunch of conversation because I know you're taking notes over there. Um, when it comes to the messenger, Brian, you nailed it on the on the point there. I have made random ass friends on Messenger because I'll do one post a day, two posts a day, one personal, one professional, right? Yeah. So one funny post about you know something like a, a, a toilet in the hallway, whatever, right? Something stupid, and it's hilarious. Then I'll do something personal like, hey, I took my chubby ass for a run. Um, and oh my God, I can't believe I did four miles and I didn't die. You know, you know, who, who's, who's running today? And I'll, I'll just yeah. post and all this stuff. Right. And what I do then is then I message the people who viewed the, 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 the story that I did. And I got into conversation with them. I took, it took it from online to offline as fast as humanly possible. Like, Hey brother, how are you? You know, like, Hey, are, are you local in the area? Let's get, let's get together. I'm buying. Like I, I, there was a girl on uh, Clubhouse today. I think her name is Jennifer or something like that, and she's a she's an EXP agent like I am. And I said, "Oh my God, you're in the Bay Area. Like I'd love to connect. I'm always looking for good referral partners. I'm in Walnut Creek." And she's like, "Oh my God, I'm in Walnut Creek." I said, "Ha! Huh, well, you're part of the family. Let's get together. I'll buy you a cup of coffee. You know, I'd love to see how we can help each other build our businesses." And so the messenger thing is absolutely humongously uh, awesome. Uh, the second thing I'm going to say until I'm going to let Gene take it over, um, when it comes to political you know, stances and everything else, I don't care where you stand. There's a guy who's a little bit more left center, right center. He's kind of in the middle of everywhere. He has a show on YouTube called Timcast. And I've talked about him before. I think, Gene, you turned me on to him. Um, and Timcast, wh- what's so uniquely powerful, and Brian, give me your thoughts on this. And then Gene, give me your thoughts on this. What he does is he is a, a, an information aggregator. He goes out, he doesn't write any articles. He doesn't do any of the research. He goes out and, you know, reads all this stuff and, you know, kind of references everything together. And then he comes on, he shows videos, right. Uh, of the different articles, points out the highlights of the different you know articles, he's, the articles he's talking about and gives his point of view. He's basically just a reporter for political news. So if you don't like being on camera, a great way to start doing videos, go out there, do some research. Uh, Gene and, and Brian can give you obviously the, the right uh, tech sides to, to, to make this happen. But you can just highlight these articles and become an information aggregator and allow your voice to be heard to the, to the local community. Because like Brian, what you're saying is that like if you're just talking to real estate agents, you're doing it wrong, homie. Like yep. you done you done fucked up. But if you can talk to the local community and say, hey, look, this is, you know, what's going on. These are you know, obviously you can't quote rates because you're not a mortgage broker and you can't do that for a billion different rules. But just talk about different things on, you know, Inman News, Fox News, CNBC, your know, real estate, you know, you pick the, the place. And I, I, I'm a, I've been putting this together, but I'm going to start doing this Timcast style of video probably next week and just do it on like every other day but be consistent and so guys give me your thoughts on some on some of the stuff i just kind of poured out yeah i mean 
look, any activity, any anything that creates engagements or conversations, it's hard for me to make the pivot from the political post to what that would look like on the real estate side. But at the end of the day, anything real estate related that you're putting out there that's going to create engagement um, helps, right? And, and so I, I'm a big advocate of like, I personally, I would focus more energy on other businesses in the local area that you're servicing and spotlight other businesses. Sure. To me, that's the link juice where it could be a caveat of like what's going on locally, how you talk about that. But I would say I would rather grab my camera, go out and put it in the face of local business owners. That way I'm not in front of it. I ask them the question. I let them answer how they're doing in this local market How's the bagel shop doing? How's the nail salon doing? How's the hairdresser doing? How's the barbershop doing? And go spotlight other businesses. And there's where the term link juice comes in. And that's where, you know, my specialty is, is I grow my network through other professionals, other business owners, because they already have the network of people that know them, like them and trust them. So if you can then add value to them and say, hey, I've got my community I want to bring them and share them with your local bagel shop so I can drive as many people here to help you grow your business. In return, if anyone, you know, of your clients are looking to buy, sell, or invest, you mind if I leave my cards here? Or maybe when I tag this post, you share it on your Facebook page, and then I'll invite those people into my world. You can invite my people into your world. And that's, to me, that that link juice is what is organic. To it, It's fun to me. It's light. Like, I love, I mean... I mean, Tom Fox on our team, even, you know, Chris Dager, who's on this, he does that. Like, it's a lot of fun getting to know the local business owners. And, and case in point, I, you know, I there's a client of mine. Uh, we spotlighted their restaurant right in my town, the best of Quaker town. And they went and bought a half a million dollar Pocono house that I was their realtor on. And we, I, you know, Krista Martin on my team did the mortgage on it for 400 and some thousand. And that's all because I wasn't thinking, how can I get business? I was like, how can I help this business mm-hmm. owner get more business in these tough times? I built a relationship with the owners. I started talking about the Poconos and how the VRBO and Airbnbs are killing it up there. And they're like, let's go. We got some money we want to we want to buy. And four months later, we close on a half a million dollar house. I would have never had that conversation if my mindset wasn't, how can I help other people? Um, but again, you're, it's to your same point. Um Greg, it's how can I get information and give it to other people? Uh, there's usually no downside in that as long as the content is, uh, you know. Yeah, it, it, as long as it, as long as it's there. And I want to be very clear to the fact I was not making a political political statement yeah, yeah. on no, one or the other. It was just purely that that's what he talks about, right? But it was the right. style of doing that kind of thing. So you could take it out and do stuff about highlighting different businesses and taking their menus and showing out all the different you know, value awesome assets they have. Well, he created his own news channel. That's what he did. Yeah. I mean, that's, he? that's what he knows. He knows it's, it's the guy's name's Tim Pool. I'll have to he, check it out. I'll yeah, he's out. he's great. He's a good, I mean, you're not going to agree with it he, with everything he says and you'll agree with some of what he says. I mean, but what he, what he does is like what Greg says is he pulls the news and then basically throws opinions on it, right? So okay. here, here's what's interesting about what what we're what we're doing and what Brian was just talking about was, I feel like never before, especially with the, with this coronavirus and everything going on, never before has it been easier to help people without without um, the expectation of something in return. So when you call out to your local businesses, if you have a platform where people are watching what you're doing, and you call out to local businesses, and the call out is not hey, come to me, I need you to do business with me. But the call out is, hey, there's 10 restaurants in my area that I love to eat at and I would love to help them survive. Let's go out and interview them with no expectation that anybody's going to call me for business. Who's going to say no to that? And who's going to look down on that? Like there's a a Mexican restaurant that opened up down the street from me and we love it. And my wife said, I hope they don't close. And I said, well, it's, it's up to us then to go out and do things for them, like promote them online, like purchase from them like go there for lunch, like, you know, spend money so that that they they can survive. And in this economy and in this world, it's just easy for guys like Brian and I to go to, into a space and say, look, 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 look. no, 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 if we if we help you grow, we want you to give us our guys the, the, the first opportunity of qualifying somebody for a mortgage. But until then, we just want to help you. Right. And the flip side of that is that if it doesn't work, which never happens, is that 
nobody's mad because they didn't invest any kind of money or sweat equity into it for the most part. We did all the work. If it does work, like in the in the in Chris Stager's realm, which you were seeing him, you know, put, post stuff on here. He's posting stuff like that because he sees the value in what we're adding to his business. And Greg, going back to what you said before, I think a lot of people have a hard time. There's two two parts. A lot of people have a hard time giving up what they control, especially when your name is on the sign. So with, for GVI Media, the, the G and the V and the I are my daughters. Like it's not people think it's named after me. It's named for Gina, Isabella. And the V's Volpe, right? Now, thank you very much for that. Very nice. Even though you're covering my face with it. But with my name Oof. on that, that's my business. I build it. So I don't want to hand off just any task to people that were. <laughs> I don't want to hand off any task to people that I think could screw my name up. I built that, right? Mm -hmm. So people have a hard time dishing off stuff when it when their name is above the door. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is in most cases, when you hand some of them off to people to do, like videos, video production, and social media management, there, there's a big cost to that, right? So we just did an intro video for Chris Stager, and Brian was talking about the girls. We just did this 20-second video for Chris. He, Chris loved it. It's going to be the video that he plays between, before all of his YouTube videos. It looks professional as hell. And I said to Brian, like, let's just talk about what that's really worth in the real world. That's a, that's $1,200, $1,500 $1, production that we just went, no, 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 you're going to partner with us. We're doing business together. We want to throw that in your lap. So for a lot of people that are running a tight business, it's hard for them to offload other other elements of their business that they're not good at because there's a cost to that that you need to pay up front. And in this world, we're talking about is what is this. There's not a cost. Partner with us, and we'll, we'll reap the benefit on the back end when you reap the benefit. Yeah, I know. I love that fact 100%. And I, I know we got a couple of minutes left and then we're going to be, we got to wrap it up for, for time's sake because everybody, every, everybody's got something to do today. It's Friday. Um, I love the fact that you guys are doing so much of the heavy lifting on the back end for folks so they can go out there and just do what they're really good at. So, uh, Brian, aka Captain Link Juice, I want everybody to know exactly where they can get a hold of you uh, because I think that, and this is not a joke, guys, and I, I make no money off of this. I make no money off of anybody ever on the show. Um, and how can I get a hold of you? You know, what states are you working in? Are you national? Are you regional? Uh, are you expanding? When could you, if I'm in California, you're in Florida right now, just for geographical reasons, you know, when would you be in my region? You know, how, how do they, how do they build this relationship with you and Jane? Yeah, no, great question. Um, first off, I, I would connect with us through the community connect Facebook page. And then you can find me on Instagram at Brian Offner or on Facebook, Brian Offner. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it comes down to this, like we're national, we're in 43 States, Animax license in 43 States the community mortgage team, which we run inside of Animac, um, is licensed in 43 States as well. Um, PA, New Jersey, Maryland, all the way down to Florida right now. Uh, we just, opened up an office in Austin, Texas. So if anyone's in Austin area, I know the girls and the video team will be heading out that way soon as well. Um, look, it all comes down to, to growth and opportunity. I mean, it doesn't like, you know, California is five hours away in my opinion, you know, so it doesn't matter if someone's willing to put in the work and understand that they want to grow their business. If that's look, I, I'm aggressive, aggressive as hell. Like I want to grow. I want like, our team has a hashtag road to a billion gene created it money nation. We want to lend money all over this entire country and help realtors grow their business. I can't grow unless I'm helping realtors grow. So if there's teams out there, there's realtors out there that are, that are hustling and want to grow their business and understand this concept of what we're doing and, and dominating the local community we're in, you know, just reach out to us. We'll introduce you to one of the loan officers on our team. We'll set up dates to do kind of a whole, you know, review of your social media and figure out where we need to attack. And then, boom, we'll be out there with the team, the money bus. We'll fly the girls in, the whole nine. Like We kind of say we're take, we're we're coming. We'll be there. You, you, you know how that sounds when you have the money bus and you're going to fly the girls in, right? Yep. Just, <laughs> just saying. You can see how it looks. Have you seen the robes? <laughs> yeah, I do no, have a robe. But it is awesome. Oh, I mean, I it's, it's, it's so cool that you guys have. Like, I don't know what the money bus is, but I'm assuming that's your RV. But yeah, I mean, to, to, to fly in, you know, videographers who are skilled at what they do, I'm sure these girls are incredible. Uh, and that what a blessing that is to have an opportunity to have that at your disposal. And the only thing you have to do is just send you the mortgage. Are you yeah, fucking kidding you. me? 
Greg, I want I just want to point something out because this is super important. I know Gene echoes this, and we talk about it all the time. Most mortgage companies, or most mortgage, um, most mortgage branch managers, if you will, they don't invest in business development. They are just trying to get loan officers. They're trying to get loan officers. Mm-hmm. Myself, Jersino, Gene, Chris, you know, Luke. Like, there's so many business development managers on the community mortgage team. There you go. Where our number one job is to go help our realtors grow their business. We are not like I give so much credit to Jason for having this trust in my vision and having the vision to see what I'm talking about, where I go, look, if we can just invest in our realtors, nobody calls a realtor and says, how can I help you grow your business? I'm competing with literally no other loan officers. When I go in, I hear the same shit every time. Oh, they take us out to lunch. They close fast. Like, great. They're meeting minimal expectation. I want to help you grow your business. And I always say, like, keep keep your LO. Whoever, we love LOs, right? We're loan officers. Like, I'm not, but we have a, our team, right? Keep using your loan officer. I don't want that business. I'm going to help you create new business. And that's mm-hmm. where marketing companies, I always say I don't like marketing companies. That's why I created one, is because keep using your guy and, and whoever you're doing, I'm going to go create the new business. And is it cool if we share in that new business with you? And 100% you're not going to, unless you hate money or growing, or, you're, you're going to say yes to that. It just doesn't make sense. If someone wants to help you grow your business, you don't do any of the heavy work other than show up. It's, it's a no brainer. Well, that's why Matt's not on the show today. I mean, <laughs> he, yeah, he, 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 he checks all, all those boxes. Above. He hates all of those things above. I mean, and I, and I I will say it on air publicly. I have two of my very very good friends who are loan officers, right? One of them who who's who's helped me sponsor my my radio show, but he's got a lot of other things going on in his life. And I have another good friend of mine who pretty much fucked me in the ass when it comes to uh, lead generation and stuff. He never followed through on. Uh, like he like I had a I had a, I had a national radio show. Uh, and he just slept through the interview I gave him for three for free, and I paid twenty five hundred dollars for that one hour, and he just didn't show the fuck up. So if you guys are gonna sh- you know bring like value into my life, shut up, Gene. No, no. When you started that, <laughs> when you started that, I, the first thing I was gonna say is, you have two LOs. We want to talk <laughs> to both of them. We bring them onto the team, and then you describe it. I was like, never mind. Talk to one. Like yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> But I mean, I'll, I'll tell you this right now is that I mean, I love them both to pieces. One of them is is one of my brothers. And that's not a joke. Uh, and the other one's a close friend. But you know what? They aren't actively helping me get business like this. They can't. They can't. And that's the, that's the thing. I, I mean, Gene and I aren't loan officers. That's why I can do it. If I was a loan officer, I'd be in the yeah. new shit trying to make sure your deals get to the closing table. That's why our team is so much different is because most branch managers don't invest 400 plus thousand dollars a year in business development, or I think he said 40,000 a month in business development. Mm. No loan branch managers are all about what's in it for them. And they want to take, take, take where Jason on our team, our leader is like, I get it, Brian, we're going to reinvest back in you and your team and Gene and everyone so that we can help the realtors grow because that's my job. I, I don't want my loan officers. They can't, they can't be out, you know, if, and most realtors, you know what they say? Hey, you know, I just want one deal from my real, loan officer. I need a deal from my loan officer. I go, you know how many realtors a loan officer has to be like make a, a good living? Like 40, 50. So if they could give everybody a deal, they should just be a realtor because that's a lot of deals. So what <laughs> I said, do you want one deal or do you want me to help you go create 10 deals over the next year? Let's go create 10 deals together. And the net net is the relationship is much better. I want to be non-disposable to my realtor partners. I want to be such a part of their business and their growth that they're not just slicing me for the next flavor of the week. Cause someone took them out for beers. Like, Dude, you, you, you make me the God of real estate with Gene in my area with Jake Wolf's help from clever spelled with a K. I'll put the, the three of you guys behind me. Okay. That sounded weird. Uh, but in my, in business, Gene's just dying laughing. He's like, he, he, he. again, again. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I will absolutely give you guys. This is gonna come out weird. Now I would definitely give you guys the business. I'll give you the big long loans, and and we're out the door. And we've gotten so weird here. Um, so let's do this. Um, Brian, 
quick phone number, email, where the, or our website again, really quick, and then Gina, go to go to you where they can get a hold of you. Yeah, it's uh, phone number, 215-237-2034. Feel free to text me. We'll set something up. And then email address, beoffner at annie-mac.com. And again, hit me up on Facebook, and you can shoot me a messenger as well. That's where a lot of people hit me up. We'll set up calls and uh, see how we can help. And you guys have a group uh, for the marketing? Where That one more time? Oh, the Community, Community Connect. Community yeah. Connect. With di- with uh, the digital architect and Captain Link Juice, and if you scroll through the comments on this uh, on this feed, I posted the link in there. Link Juice. Yeah, uh, and Joe, and that's why they call it uncensored. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> Gene Volpe, the Volpinator. Um, if you, I swear to God, if you fucking tell me that you can't get a hold of me because they just need to know where where to find you, I'm gonna slap you and take you off the show. So, how can they get a hold of you? Be a marketer. Do the same thing Brian just said. Shoot me a text at 610-952-1081. 610-952-1081. Dude. Go to Joe Harrison's TikTok. And go yeah. to yeah, go to Henny GVO on TikTok. Henny GVO on TikTok. Do yeah. Do, do yourself a huge flavor, you guys. Um, obviously, you can tell that Brian, Ka- a.k.a. Captain Link Juice, uh, Gene Volpe, a.k.a. the Evil Bald Ninja, uh, these two are amazing human beings. That's why I had them on the show. They, they're going to be able to do a lot of fun stuff. Uh, for you guys, uh, really help you kind of build your uh, build your business in a positive way. I mean, if you don't have to pay for marketing, what the fuck are you doing? If they can do all the editing, video shooting, the whole they'll fly in the girls. I don't know who the girls are, but they're the girls. We're gonna fly the girls in. They're gonna do some amazing stuff for you. I I'm personally gonna be talking about these guys behind the scenes, and then I will let you know how how it goes. I I I'm, I've, I know and trust Gene uh, with my life, literally. If I told Gene, I'm like, hey, buddy, uh, I need you to meet me at 7-Eleven at midnight with a shovel and $10,000 and ones. He, he'll be like, the one at first in Maine or the one at fifth in market? And True story. <laughs> and that's how I roll with these homies. So He already uh, had the ones. Yeah, I already well, you know what I did for those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shook that booty. Uh, which, by the way, I can't dance. I have two left feet on a good day. Anyways, guys, uh, Gene, do your job. Pink. In- Wow, that came out quick. Yeah. Okay. Can you, can you tell him on the edge of my seat? Yeah, I can tell. All right, guys. That is Captain Link Juice. That is Gene Volpe, the evil bald ninja. Guys, thank you for watching. This is a pink bow on the show. Uh, guys, go ahead and give us a five-star, not a two-star review at every single podcasting place that you guys go to. It helps the algorithm help other people see the shows that we put out there. Yes, we're crude. We're lewd. And when I say that, that's me. Uh, not the, not my guest. It's always me speaking, but we love you to pieces. We couldn't do without you. Thank you so much. Have a blessed, powerful, incredible weekend, guys. Until then, peace out, ninjas! See ya! Thanks for listening to today's episode. I hope you take action immediately with the tactics and the takeaways that you've learned. Now, if you'd like to take the relationship to the next level with me, which I strongly encourage that you do, by the way, I want you guys to go ahead and shoot me a text. You know, it's 925-915-1978. A lot of times, if if people are feeling stuck or they just need a a third party to listen or kind of throw some ideas at, I would love to be that for you. Take the McDaniel Challenge. Well over 400 people have taken the challenge. And you know what? It's been a positive result. 99.9% 99.9% of the time. Nah, I'm kidding. It's been 100% of the time. It's been a blast. And I would encourage you guys to reach out to me. I really would love to talk with you. If you're feeling a little stuck and you guys need a third party to kind of just bounce some ideas off, I'm here for you. Again, that number is 925-915-1978. And as always, peace out, bitches. We got it.